Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a video uh, on the 1987 Tornado, which is behind me. I'm not sure if I like this style of vlogging, if you can even count that as a vlog, but uh, I got some parts here for the 87 Tornado. Um, hopefully none of the addresses show, so I don't have to keep blurring them out, but in a perfect world that would be, but it's not a perfect world. So. We're gonna open these packages up because I've been gone for quite some time from the internet and uh, just wanted to show why. Uh, first of all, I'm now working and most of my time is devoted to that now. <laughs> so I can put these videos out here so I have enough money to just even live off of. So we're gonna open up the package in the middle here, which is, it's like really flat one that's torn. So, uh, hopefully it's not broken. Nope. I like a butter knife for this. Should have gotten a sharper knife, but... Couldn't find any. But so alright, got this headlight door here. It's just glued on. What in blue blazes happened? <laughs> the outside is all right. Let's put that up here. It's all right, but this needs to be all touched up because it's so faded. Chrome's all right. So I guess we'll be making a paint project out of this. I think these things had holes in them stock. Huh. Just a bunch of glue on the back. That's what GM used. I mean, this is literally just... This is covered. Just covered with glue. You can see the front as well. Alright. Well. Not the worst part I've had. And these are extremely rare to come across. Especially the with the Tornado Chrome. So... It's salvageable. I'm used to um, used to doing pieces like this. My paint skills aren't that good, though. So I'll see if I can match the black. I might I might just end up redoing the whole front end um, just to make all the black match up and make make it shine a little bit because it's all, it's all faded. Sort of like how this is. This is just a little bit more extreme. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's move on to the next part. Set this here. I don't know what these ones are, though. This will open up from the top here. All right, cut away from yourself. There we go. We know how to use a knife around here. We're not that dumb yet. There's probably wind noise in this too. Well, there goes that. I'll pick that up. Oh, sweet! Fridge magnets. Those are always cool. This is the Air Aerial, Aerial Atom. That's cool. Alright, well that's neat. I love when Rock Auto does that. So, what we have here is a uh, Carter fuel pump. So, the fuel pump on the 87 is going out. And it's not building up enough uh, fuel pressure for an hour to uh, run correctly so the engine is running rough because it's technically being starved to fuel. So, got a new fuel pump here. Uh, we're going to drop the tank and, uh, you know, replace that, see how good the tank is. If the tank is bad, then I will replace it. Um, yeah, I believe that's it for that. So 
know, we got that. So I don't know what this small box is then. It also has a package listing of everything I ordered, so maybe this will give us some insight. If I can open this. Come on. I always feel like the weakest man in the world when I do this. All right. 11 pages. Ooh. Now look at that. Lincoln, um... Lincoln Town Car, I believe. Where he's got that oval glass in the rear. Nah, that's cool. I'm hanging that on my fridge. So, this is page 11 of 11. That shows, so we got a fuel sending unit, lock ring, a fuel sending unit, gasket, uh, two struts, two, uh, two strut mounts, the fuel pump, and then uh, fuel tank strap. I forgot to order a second one. Oops. So the one that's in this, this box here is the fuel pump strainer. So I'm not going to open up this back box because it's just a strainer itself and I want to keep it safe. So we're just going to leave that there. But at least we know what's in there and what we're going to be getting. So uh, yesterday I got the one of the strut, uh, strut sh this is just the strut tops, you know, the top that goes on top of it. Um, if you're familiar, I've... I'm guessing everyone here has probably seen coil over builds, you know, people putting race lands on Miatas, that sort of thing. Um, with a Tornado, you have to use a spring compressor, which I don't have, so I'm going to have to use my buddy's shop. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to record any of this, but um, definitely show like the after results and show how the handling is different because I believe the stuff that I owed that um, I'm putting on here is from the Trofeo which it has a FE3 suspension package. So, yeah, should be a uh, pretty decent ride quality compared to what it was before. Um, and then of course, with the fuel pump, a lot better, uh, lot better PSI, I guess, pressure, whatever you want to call it. So there's that. Um, hmm. So I guess we'll try, I'll just try fitting this up and showing you guys what it looks like on the car. And then there's one more thing I want to show off uh, in this video. So stay tuned for that. So this isn't mounted or anything, but this is what it essentially is going to look like when it's fully mounted on. It just makes this front end look so much better complete. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but of course... I'm going to have to scrape off all this old glue. I mean, just look at that. Got to scrape off all that old glue. Get this all cleaned up. I might just take this whole grill assembly apart. And then, uh, yeah, do it that way. But yeah. That looks so much better. <clears throat> uh, next thing I wanted to show off, though, which is something I did off camera so on each side I put uh, the Tornado emblems back on I use some uh, I guess Gorilla Glue and they uh, they're on there really really well so that's just one last thing now um, let's see here uh, I'm just trying to think of anything else I should show before I end the video. Uh, I have my friend Millie's Vic in here. Um, I might be taking this to my friend Andrew's house to get fixed. Uh, we'll see on that though uh, for this weekend. And then the last thing is that I replaced the climate control in this. Got it to work and everything like that. But Every once in a while, the lights don't display. I can still, well, it's just completely dead now. No, I, I mean, there's, yeah, essentially it's, 
Essentially, it's just not showing up anymore. I don't know why. It still works for some reason. If that, there we go. It still works, but just the lights don't work anymore. So I'm gonna have to take this apart again, which is sort of a pain. Um, but you know what? I need the air conditioning and stuff. So that will be fixed eventually. Also, the car hit, finally hit 122,121.1 miles. There's that, another mileage update. So, see how many miles I, I can put on this thing within the year 2017. Quite a bit, actually, so far. Yeah. Carpet still looks pretty good. I need to vacuum it again, though. Um, I also have that other mat that I'm going to be replacing the passenger side with. Actually, even the driver's side, to be honest. Because there's some heavy stainage in here that I cannot get out. So, yeah, there's that. And then uh, the last thing I think I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take some Gooby Gun and get this off. And then, I'm not sure uh, if anyone has a recommendation of what I should use to reattach this, like some type of glue, because I can glue it, you can see, right here on this bar, and then, well, I can't flip this around, but right, right along this edge right here. I can glue it between those two places right there, and then, you know, put this together so it's clamped down and won't move anymore. But I'm gonna take the Gooby Gone first and clean up all this so it at least look nice, because, for some reason they put duct tape on this and just made it look horrid so yeah I'm gonna be doing that um, but yeah just let me know if you have any recommendations for this uh, for what type of glue I should use you know if there's actual like vinyl or plastic adhesive or something like that that I should use or if I should use that Gorilla glue that I have uh, that I stuck the emblems on with so yeah uh, just a short little video. Well, I don't, I don't know how long it is, but it, it's probably short. I keep saying it's short, and then I look back, and then it's like 20 minutes long. So, <laughs> um, that's it for today, uh, and I thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll have another video, video out uh, next week. I, I want to try to upload at least once a week, but with work, I'm working almost every single day, and but I do have the weekends off which is awesome. Thank you. Um, I don't know why I just said thank you. I guess to my work. You know who you are. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be getting income finally in and we're going to, we're going to make the Toronado great again. <laughs> God dang it. Why do I do this to myself? All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.